Brunswick Zone, Roswell, Roswell, Georgia, the site of an eight-game practice session on June 8th, and here is game two. Didn't bowl very well on game one, but managed to salvage from it a 2.15. Starts the second game with a high hit. Looks like uh, let up on the speed a little bit and it just hooked through the nose. Four pin, spare. Okay. This was the first practice session I had brought all my camera gear in a long, long time, so it may have taken a little while to get acclimated. And once again, high in the second frame, this time leaving the 310 baby split. And Pretty clearly, I was not lined up yet on this pair. You'd think after a game I would have been, but I'd gotten some information before I started bowling that one of these lanes was pretty slick, and I made the mistake of believing them. Straight at it and converting the baby split. So... Not a great beginning, but clean through two frames, okay. Little extra speed that time, and it doesn't quite take out the seven, nearly leaving a 7.10. So, at this point I'm already feeling like, eh, I don't know if I've really got it tonight. I haven't really thrown that many good shots. And discovered some of the carry down. As that ball never came up. Little better shot, but just didn't quite get it to finish. You can tell I got around it a little more than I would have liked. And leaves a weak 10 pin. Get a lot of weak 10s in this house. The gutter, the gutters in uh, Brunswick Zone Roswell are the maximum depth allowable by USBC specifications. So you get a lot of weak 10s and weak 7s. Okay. Strike list through four. And still just not comfortable. That one got started a little bit in the dry and it hooked early. I have a tendency to walk pretty straight, but then my slide step comes back to the right. And I've got to be careful about that or I'll start the ball too far to the right. Covers the spare. Okay, still looking for a strike in this game. See, at this point, what's happening is uh, I'm afraid to move in too much because I've had a couple of shots slide by. And in fact, there's a little dead zone out there to the right on both lanes where it'll just sail. 
and I'm protecting against throwing it out there. So that ball just uh, hooked through the nose. Okay. Do I have a strike in me? Not yet. That one I was trying to throw it a little harder and you can see I kind of pulled it as I came through. I think I'll find more success if I move in just a little bit more on this pair. Okay, and after missing the seven pin on the right, I pull the next spare shot. I have at a left side spare and uh, hook right by the four pin. This is turning into a real shot making exhibition. A little better shot there. There you go. Once again, pulled it a little bit. This time it got caught up in the oil and it never quite finished hard enough to take out the seven. And once again, I miss a seven pin on the right. That time I grabbed another ball. Not because it's a spare ball or even because it hooks more, but just Kind of not taking time here. You could tell I'm kind of mentally not th not there in this game. Light breaks up the two four five, leaving a five pin as all hands go up at B Z Roswell, where it's traditional to hold your hand high when someone leaves a five pin, and if they miss it. Everyone who had their hand up gets a round of jello shots. I don't drink, so I never play that game. But even if I did, I don't miss many five pins, even when I'm not bowling well. And I'm clearly not bowling well here. Okay, the fill ball. Strike for 158. No. 155. Oh. Well, never let it be said that I only post my good games. That was a big 155. I'm very proud of that. And you should be.